Well, two men are behind bars after they're caught with hundreds of counterfeit gift cards. And right now we are learning more about where these men were going and why they had all these fake gift cards in the first place. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Shira has details from the mobile newsroom in East Providence. East Providence police tell us they have at least 150 victims of credit card fraud to notify after a big arrest that caught two suspects counterfeiting credit cards. Envelopes containing counterfeit credit and gift cards worth more than $100,000 were seized by East Providence police during a traffic stop on I-195 Friday. Police Chief Joseph Tavares says officers arrested two suspects, 25-year-old Luke Bo Brun and 29-year-old Sherilyn Oplin, both from Brooklyn, New York, and say they are part of an elaborate cyber crime scheme which involves stealing credit card numbers to buy fraudulent gift cards. These individuals or somebody associated with them stole these assorted gift cards, whether they were American Express, Target, etc. And then with those stolen cards, mm -hmm. they then recoded or rekeyed the cards. Tavares says the two were riding in a rented car with New York plates when they were pulled over. He says they had inconsistent stories. Neither suspect was authorized to operate the car and consented to a search. And that is how police discovered recent purchases made at a Warwick Target store. With assistance from the U.S. Secret Service, more than 150 gift cards were confirmed as fraudulent. And it's a pretty complicated scheme, but um, very sophisticated. Uh, these things are done nationwide. Uh, uh, these are the things that can undermine the economy and, and a, lot, a couple of people can do a lot of harm. East Providence police tell us those Warwick receipts and a GPS was seized from the suspect's car and the GPS showed that they had hit several other Target stores on their way up from New York City. Now one of the suspects did have a warrant out for his arrest in West Virginia. He was considered dangerous. Both the suspects are being held on $100,000 bail each at the ACI. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.